Six cases of the Omicron variant have been detected in Nebraska. This is the first time Omicron has been identified in the state. And Channel 8's Joseph Nasser joins us now with the latest in our top story tonight. Just today, Public Health Solutions, which covers Fillmore, Gage, Saline, Thayer, and Jefferson counties, revealed that the variant was detected in their district. No one's been hospitalized, and the patients are said to be on the road to recovery. The health district asking people not to panic to the news. Important times, but I want everyone to still be calm. Health officials urging Nebraskans to remain calm after the Public Health Solutions Health District revealed six people have tested positive for the Omicron variant in southeast Nebraska. The first case um, that we identified was likely exposed during international travel to Nigeria. Um, this person left Nigeria and flew back to the United States on November 23rd. On November 24th, the individual began to uh, show symptoms and sought out testing. The other five cases are likely to have been exposed to the first case through close contact, as all individuals were in the same household. We don't foresee that there's going to be um, a large amount of uh, close contacts that anyone needs to be concerned about. According to Public Health Solutions, one of the six people who tested positive for the variant was fully vaccinated but not yet eligible to be boosted. The five other cases, including the traveler, were not vaccinated. The cases are described as being mild to moderate. So how should Nebraskans react to this news? Health officials say it's important to remain calm and practice the same safety measures that we've been practicing. We just don't want uh, a rampant concern that people are going to think that, you know, this is widespread in the community. At this point, it's not. It's a perfect time to get the vaccines for everyone, even the boosters, as well as um, continue doing the masking, continue social distancing. We don't want to have uh, anyone uh, get too scared about this. Now, Governor Ricketts said earlier today that the state will not implement a lockdown or a mandate in response to the news. Health officials advise that people continue to look for the signs of COVID, wear masks in non-ventilated areas, and isolate if you're feeling symptoms of the virus.